Now there would be some condition inside our application where we're going to need to pull back the strings like uh, the message sender and receiver so to match it with the queries outside of the area. So to do that we're going to have to select it from the table and we're going to have to run a query that would be actually a selective query. For that purpose we actually use in Android SQLite database we use a concept of cursor. Cursor allows us to select the queries from the database within a very finite set of uh, uh, area. So what I'm going to have to you do is I'm going to create a cursor in here. I'm just going to press enter and so I'm going to use a public cursor that will be and get string sender string uh, receiver. So I'm going to only pull that receiver and sender from that one that's it uh, it is asking to add the return statement here so in order to pull back something or in order to insert something we're going to have to uh, get the permissions of that database that is get writable database so for that purpose what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to use SQLite database DB is equal to get writable database that's it I'm going to save it I'm going to create a string to hold on a query for selecting something from the database so string select query is equal to I'm gonna use like uh, select from and then plus table name messages that is actually the table name so select every row and everything from the table name messages where message sender plus like so what does like the like operator is used for uh, searching a specified pattern in the column so that is one of the most important thing like is actually very important when you put a like s percent like I'm just gonna give it an example s percent so it will also find out the missing letters uh, for example uh, uh, S and any name which starts from S it will pick it like that so it is actually the purpose of like so I'm gonna use uh, now plus like sender plus and and message receiver like receiver so I'm gonna use the receiver which is actually provided in here in this area so I'm gonna use receiver and that's it and then I'm gonna use like uh, order by ID which I previously described plus ASC so what does it really means in all over the way it means that um, actually select from the table everything uh, that actually starts from the sender or starts from the receiver For means that the sender and receiver both should be packed up and should be ordered in ascending order by their uh, index uh, ID now the last thing I gotta have to insert is the unimplemented method so I'm gonna insert the unimplemented methods and here we have now the unimplemented method so this method means that if your database version is uh, very old then you should upgrade and uh, the next thing is that if the database version is not supportable then you should drop it so what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to use db db dot uh, like uh, xsql and then uh, you're going to provide the drop database uh, query in here. So I'm going to use, I'm going to use table message drop, and that's it.